Good morning from the rental car. <laughs> we are in Cafayate today again, or still, and we are heading towards some waterfalls in Bodega de las Nubes, in the area here. And uh, we are not sure how it's going to be. The, yeah, and the road is very dusty and we have to use the windshield wipers not to wash but to wipe the dust away. Yeah, this is a uh, total countryside in the desert. It never rains. And uh, there's supposed to be one uh, bodega, a wine vineyard there which is near to the waterfall, so we might go there and have lunch. Let's see, and taste some wine again. So, follow us to the desert. So we just arrived at Finca Las Nubes. You can see the view on the valley here. We're actually on the other side compared to where we were yesterday. And here is the finca. And let's see if we can get some food. We're probably a little bit late, but let's have a look. We made it, we got some food. What are you having? And there's a... Uh, only one person who's doing everything. He's a servant, he's taking the orders, he's in the kitchen. Waiter, you say, no servant. And the waiter, and he made me a delicious, delicious. Had too Sorry, much wine. My mouth is full. Milanese with his green salad, and Marty has two empanadas one with meat and one with queso. And he's having a Malbec, and I'm having a Cabernet Sauvignon. And with this view and total silence and 25 degrees, it's just so beautiful. Paradise. So here's a grasshopper in the garden. And to be honest, I have never seen a grasshopper so big. It's bigger than my hand. You might probably not see it on the picture, but it's just outrageous. But different countries, different insects. centimeters long. Yeah, I'm just saying minimum 10 centimeters long. It's a little bit spooky somehow. <laughs> and from here, from the Finca, you can see in the valley there's a sandstorm. A lot of dust getting a little bit more windy. And you can see how the dust from the ground is getting in the air and coming to us. So let's go. Now we are going to do an adventure because behind this bodega Nubis, which we definitely can recommend because everything is organic and delicious and a stunning setting, there is a hike to a waterfall. And it's supposed to be a little bit difficult, but let's see. If it's too difficult, then we just return. So, unfortunately, no trek to the Cascade today. We are too late. It's 4 p.m. and it takes three hours to go there and get back. So it would be actually dark when we get back. So this cascade tour is not happening. So as the, the hike to the river was not possible, we are going to go to the Museum of the Wine in Cafayate to see what it has to offer. So for example, the Bordeaux area 600 meters above sea level, and then Tos Tuscany, España, US, Napa Valley, etc. And Cafayate is actually here on 1,800 meters above sea level. So it's one of the highest in the here world. Here you can see the old uh, depots where the wine was kept. And in these ovens underneath, they put fire to stop the fermentation process by heat. So here you can see our road. We started from Salta and took this road down where you saw these amazing rock formations and drove all the way down to Cafayate where we are now. Visited the vineyards here. And tomorrow we will be driving up this road to Molinos. We will stop at Colomé 
Hopefully we get a tour there of the magic museum that they have. And then we drive from Molinos to Cachi, where we stay overnight. So that's our tour. So at the end of the tour, like every museum that respects itself, there is a shop and you can buy things you don't need and wine. So this was the wine museum of Cafayate. Actually the first part was only about growing the wine and how special the area is and the amplitude and the dirt, the dirt and the water etc. The second part is much more interesting, it's about all the methods how to produce the wine, the filtration system, the fermentation etc. So you can do a wine tasting if you want to behind me in the shop or buy some bottles of wine and uh, that's kind of it. So we are just ready, took another shower to wash all the dust away from the day and you saw also before and Mali is just drinking some water because it's very very dry here, need to drink a lot and now we are going to a local restaurant where they serve Lockroff which is like a local stew and we want to try that tonight. We just tried to upload another episode of the vlog but it's just not possible. It took one day for 2%. So we have to be patient with this until we get a stronger internet connection. Unfortunately, the restaurant is not open yet. I was thinking it's open at 7, but it's now it's 8. But they only open at 8.30. And Marty's currently looking for another wine bar where you can do a wine tasting. So we will try another glass of wine as an aperitif before we come back here to eat the local stew. We are not in the original restaurant where we wanted to go and eat, the crop. and eat the local stew because it was closed. And yeah, the other one man's trash is another man's treasure. So we ended up, there was a wine tasting bar we saw already before when we were driving with the car today through the town which is called uh, Bed Brothers and it's quite funky inside and they offered, they showed us the menu and the food on the menu looked so tempting so actually we couldn't resist. We received already of course our delicious Argentinian wine. Red wine. Mine is a Mataka, it's a Malbec Tana and Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon of course, car. so it's a blend and Marty has a pure Malbec and I must say they're both very excellent. Look at this deep reddish color. So let's see how the food will look like. So the starter has arrived. Marty has already almost killed it. So it's a taboli salad with a smoked salmon in a... Parmesan. Parmesan uh, basket. Super yummy. So the main course has arrived. Marty is having some meatballs in a delicious relish with some crisps on the top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm having a mini cheeseburger with some fries. After this delicious dinner and delicious wine, wine what is missing? A dessert. And here in Cafayate there's supposed to be a heladeria which is making ice cream from wine. Wine. So Let's try this for dessert tonight and see how it tastes and looks like. So the funny music comes from the Zumba over there and this is uh, <laughs> Marty's trying to do some Zumba as well. And this is the Hilaria Miranda, but unfortunately it looks a little bit closed. And to be honest, this is already the second time we are here because this afternoon when we did the hike or wanted to do the hike, we say okay we cannot do the hike because it's too late and then we can say let's have a nice ice cream and they were closed and now they're closed again that's really a pity so no ice cream tonight just straight to bed or maybe we find something else to treat ourselves yeah well you but know help. what actually we can join the Zumba class I think we need it <laughs> so again one man's trash is the other man's treasure. We went somewhere else for ice cream. And this is actually quite good. We tried, they also had a Cabernet and Malbec ice cream and a Toronto's ice cream, which is a local grape, which is more sweet. 
it's actually a white wine and to be honest was not not so much my favor the Malbec ice cream was okay -ish. no it was Cabernet a Cabernet ice cream but it was more like a sorbet ice cream and now I have chocolate chips or Trasatella as and we I say have, in Europe and I have Dolce de Leche of course <laughs> local version of Dolce de Leche yeah, thank you for watching again. This was another short episode of The Way We Saw It from Cafayate, second day of wine tasting and enjoying this beautiful area of the northwest of Argentina. When you come here, definitely, definitely stay two or three days. It's really, really worth, worth it. it. The landscape is stunning. You can do hikes, you can go to the waterfall, you can go at least to 10 bodegas and do wine tasting. You can, there are so many things to do, excursions, etc. So don't stay too short on your trip here. Tomorrow we will move on to the north, to Kachi, as Marty was saying before. You can also, if you like to, you can follow us on our social media channels. The link is uh, below in the comment area. And since, maybe you have noticed, since a few episodes we have changed a little bit the layout of the movies. We are working with uh, uh, black uh, bars on top and below of the, of the movies. Of the of the footage and also we're using a little bit uh, color grading program etc so I would be interested really in, in your feedback if you like it or not leave your comments below in the section and thank you for watching all the best wherever you are safe travels always bye bye bye